Hey friends, thanks for checking out another project video. My name is Mitch and you're watching Made by Mitch where I show you the things I make and what I learn while I make them. This video is a collaboration with a couple other YouTube channels. We've got Kenny and his family over at Life on Beagle Road and then Jason and his family on So the Land. So big shout out to those guys. Make sure you check out their channels. Their links are in the description. And we decided to make something for our wives for this video. So my wife has had this poster for a while that she's been asking me to make a picture frame for and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to make her a picture frame. And make sure you stay until the end. I've got some behind the scenes footage of my kids that I am excited to show you. So let's check it out. The first thing I did was use the planer to get my boards to a usable thickness. I chose to do my frame at 3 quarters of an inch, but you can do whatever thickness that you want. Next I used the joiner jig to flatten up one side of all the boards, and then I would flip the board over and run the, that flat side against the table saw fence to flatten out the other side of the board. After my boards had two flat sides, I could rip them to the width of the frame. So I got these boards cut to width now. Now I'm going to add a small rabbit on the table saw right here on the edge of all the boards so the photo can lay into the boards. Let's check it out. A quarter inch into the board, I ran my table saw to make a groove that was a quarter inch deep and then I flipped the board up along the fence and ran it that way as well to give me a quarter inch rabbit. And then I flipped the board around and ran a 45 degree cut to give the inside frame an angle. This was mainly just for looks, and it's totally optional. Okay, I've got the boards ready to cut to length now. I've got the rabbits cut in them, and then I've got a 45 degree angle on the inside of the frame. Now I need to cut these to length to fit the picture that I'm gonna be hanging. So there's a formula that you can use to figure out what size of frame that you need to make. I'm gonna put that formula right here so you can check it out. So, that is going to be how you determine from the outside corner to outside corner what your length of your uh, board is going to be for a frame. So I'm going to use that formula on mine and we'll see how it turns out. Let's check it out. Okay, so I ran into a little bit of a problem. The wood I used for this picture frame was a bunch of different scrap pieces that someone gave me a while back. So I'm pretty sure that the three boards I was using for this are different species of wood. I'm not an expert with that kind of stuff, so if you know what species these, these three different boards are, let me know in the comments below. But because of this, I don't think it's gonna really work out for this frame. I'm starting completely over. Don't worry, I'm not gonna show all the steps. I'm gonna do everything the same up to this point, but I'm gonna use one longer piece of wood. That way I know it's gonna be the same thing. So just so you know, if it looks different later on, that's why. After getting my new piece of walnut up to place, I sanded everything down to 220 grit and then it was time for the glue up. So what I did was I used painter's tape and I just lined everything up. I added glue and then put them together. I also used painter's tape to hold the pieces together while the glue dried. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but this was actually my very first picture frame that I've ever made. So I thought it turned out really good and this process made it a lot easier with the glue up. I was a little concerned about this part, but it went really easy doing it this way. After the glue was dry, I decided to add some splines to the frame just to add some strength in the corners where the glue joints were. I made a really simple spline jig to do this. And I learned about splines and this spline jig from David Picciuto's channel. He has a really good video on some picture frames. I'll link that in the description below. And the next thing I had to do was cut out the spline. So I just measured the thickness of a piece of maple that I had and then I ran this along the table saw. I flipped it over, ran it along the table saw again and my blade didn't go up high enough to get this um, to make one solid piece so I just cut it off and then that was the piece that I used for my splines. After dry fitting the pieces and cutting them down to a more manageable size, I just added glue to them and then glued them into place. The 
there were some small gaps in my frame where the corners went together it, it wasn't perfect and so what I did was I mixed up a little bit of glue and some sawdust and then I filled in the cracks and imperfections and then also around where I added the splines and this made a big difference on the end of the frame and then after that I just used the jigsaw to cut off the splines and then I sanded them down to be even with the rest of the frame and then used Danish oil as the finish. All right, so I got the frame all finished. I added the, the finish to it. I took it up to the house to see if the photo fit in it and there was a little bit of a problem. When I made the second version, I used the first version as a template and just changed a little bit uh, by my eye. I didn't really measure it and that was a mistake. The groove that goes around the outside of the rabbit is a little bit too big. I'm glad it's too big and not too small because what I'm going to do is add a couple strips along the sides where it's too big. That way the glass and the poster that I'm putting in there won't move around. So I think it's going to be okay, but I'll show you what it looks like. This was just a minor setback. These strips worked really well. I just glued them in and added some painter's tape to hold them in as kind of like a makeshift clamp. And then that was all. I was back to pretty much a normal project after that. Don't let the setback keep you from doing the project because there's always a way to fix it. Next it was time to add the poster into the frame. So I added my piece of plexiglass and then I added the poster that we were using and then I decided to use a couple pieces of tape to hold it in place and I used a piece of just cardboard to be the backing for this. I didn't have any of the normal materials you would normally have and I used push pins to keep the cardboard in place. Again, I didn't have uh, all the hardware I needed for this, but this worked just fine. Uh, and then I wanted to add like a little bit of a backing, so I just used this craft paper and added some spray adhesive, and I pressed it on there and let it sit for about 10 minutes, and then cut it off with a utility knife, and it was awesome. Uh, I, again, I saw this done by David Picciuto. I've never done it before, but it turned out great. Next, I just added hardware with this little kit I picked up on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description for that. Then I had a little bit of help from my two little buddies. So we're making this picture frame for Mama, aren't we? Yes. Are you excited to give it to her? Yeah. Robert. Yeah. What does that say? Robert. Robert. This That's is my right. little brother named Arlo Jack Wilmot. Yeah. And and there, I didn't want to play with my slot. So are you are you excited to give this to Mama? Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. What do you think she'll say? I think she was like, oh, wow. Do you? Oh, that's cool. Well, I think she's going to love it. What do, you, what do you think? Do you think she will love it? Okay. They were pretty excited to give this to her. I wish I would have gotten footage of us actually giving it to her, but I didn't capture that this time, but she did love it. I think it was beyond her expectation. And to be honest, I think this frame turned out a lot better than I actually expected it to be as well. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Big shout out to the other channels that collabed with me on this project. Check out their videos, links are in the description. And also if you wanna see some of the other projects that I have on my channel, I'll link those there as well. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next project. Bye. Say bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a good job guys. Thanks. Crushed it, boom. Found boom. It. Found it. Hope on the back. Mama.